Hey guys, Greg Berlucky here from DVRT Fitness UK. Today I wanted to talk about um, the uh, half kneeling arc press. This is the uh, second part of the uh, Where Do I Start with DVRT series. And uh, you might be familiar with our DVRT Big Six, the Big Six movements that um, sort of represent the, uh, the DVRT system. So this is going to be our first of that um, uh, big six and this is an exercise called half kneeling arc press so uh, the half kneeling arc press is a great sort of foundational exercise that helps to build the lunge also helps to build the overhead press um, it helps to sort of like work on um, on lateral strength in a very specific way uh, and that is to resist uh, any lateral movement so it's uh, it's a great uh, full body integration exercise let's dive into that so first um, I'm going to give you a couple of layers of progressions to uh, to get to that half kneeling arc press this is just the way I like to break things down okay and we're going to do um, a very similar um, exercise it's going to be like a like a classic uh, pallof press however the only difference is that normally the pallof press is done with a cable whereas we're going to use our core strap uh, attached to a core ultimate sandbag and the reason that this is important is because you can use the um, the hands the grip so much better than than a, than a simple cable machine so when you hold on to uh, to the bag Okay, you can already grip that bag really strong firmly okay and that grip is going to translate into um, into a better core strength so we know that the grip uh, strength is important in terms of uh, how it, how it connects to the lats and the core and just the body position itself okay we're going to engage the um, the uh, the core from the ground up using the feet Okay, and we have that core engagement from the top down using our hands so um, this is a um, very specific concept that represents our DVRT system so you just grab that bag okay nice and strong here we see you have a resistance band okay uh, attached to that uh, anchor to the down there I'm going to start pressing down with my feet Okay, and then start pushing that bag straight up, not too high. Okay, keeping just in line with the with the torso, and then pull back in. Okay, and uh, obviously you can do this the other side. Just don't want to turn around. So that's our first progression. Second progression, uh, just going to switch legs. Okay, and then now we're going to work on that half kneeling arc press. Uh, and actually just doing half of that movement okay so I'm um, going to keep that bag, uh, that bag on this side okay and again keeping the legs square to the hips the back foot here which you might be able to see is uh, the toes are tucked under so this foot is pushing down to the floor really important okay that helps to engage the, the glutes the core okay and then just pressing over the head from here then come back down okay so my my feet and my legs are working just as much if not harder than my than my arms okay we see the band is trying to pull me over that side so i need to resist that pull and this is a good way of actually uh teaching people how to use their feet how to use their hands and and just create that full body integration so you can do this you don't necessarily have to anchor that you can just uh attach a band to to the bag and then you know obviously working in pairs and um and then create a little bit of resistance and the key thing here is to not to overdo that pull okay so whoever is doing that lift needs to be able to to do it um like you need just enough resistance so they, they they could extend the arms over the head and then also uh, doing the pull down as well so we go all the way up okay and then slowly come back down with control obviously doing both sides okay and uh and then after this 
uh, I'm just going to switch to the, the actual half kneeling arc press. Okay, just using a different bag, a little bit bigger for this. Okay, and then switching legs. Okay, if I just turn this way towards the camera. Okay, so we'll still have that strong grip. Okay, we'll go up, over, and then coming back down. Okay, extending the arms, and then down to the other side. So notice that there's no movement with the head. Okay, it's going up and then coming back down, clearing the head. So I'm not trying to create space for the bag. I'm actually working around my head, extending the arms and then pulling it back down. And the legs, the feet are working just as much as the arms. Okay, obviously covering both sides here. And I'm also, um, also going to give you another level of progressions to, to the same, same uh, movement pattern, obviously combining lunge and overhead presses and working on that, um, resisting the frontal pain. Okay, so next level of progression is, is actually using the, the same uh, smaller bag, but we're going to add the, um, the reverse lunge as well, so which is a, another level, uh, the instability is just going to increase so the whole body needs to work harder to resist that pull uh, by the band so it looks like this okay uh, just going to hold on to that band again i come a little bit forward okay and the opposite leg goes back okay and then before I'm going down, I'm start pressing over the head. So I have that strong grip again. Okay, everything stays nice and square. So looking straight forward, step, lunge, press over the head. Okay, and that's going to work on that, on the uh, trunk stabilizer, stabilizers much more. Okay, creating uh, that um, lateral force so which I need to fight again. So this is a, just another level of, of progressions here to the, to the same team. Okay, I hope that helps. Talk to you next time.